Hi, and welcome to Meetings in Math. We are just starting chapter four, all about linear equations. 4.1, you are going to begin writing your own essential question based on the work we did today. But I will tell you our learning goal. Our learning goal is to graph a linear equation from ordered pairs. You will need your Jaguar dots, a pencil, a pen, and a highlighter might be helpful. A ruler is a must, and a calculator might be helpful, along with your determination and perseverance. Make sure you are on 4.1. So one of the important things about learning how to take notes is for you to be able to start developing your own essential question. But you do know the learning goals from there. Your essential question is not that far away. So let's begin. First off, let's look at an ordered pair. An ordered pair goes like this. X and Y. X's go across or horizontal and Y's are vertical or up and down. And they always go in that order and they are always with parentheses. A linear equation is an equation whose graph is a line. So everything that we're going to be doing is a line. That is why you need a ruler. The points on the line are the solution to the equation. So we are going to start off with one of the ways that we can make it a line and that is just using ordered pairs. So when you're doing ordered pairs, you pick any of the X's that you want. So you could pick these. So there's really no rule on what they have to be. They can be anything that you want, but we tend not to use decimals. We tend to pick nice numbers and we tend to pick both positives and negatives. And then what you do is you substitute it into the equation. So we are graphing the equation Y equals X plus one. So we substitute them into the equation and we simplify it. And then we get the value of y. And then once we have those, we are going to graph the coordinates or the points. So that's kind of what we're going to be doing. Right here I'm picking negative two for x. So y equals negative two plus one. So then I go, okay, well what is negative two plus one? negative two plus one is a negative one. So my value of Y is negative one. So my ordered pair is negative two, negative one. So now I can come down to my graph. I want to add some things to this graph that are not here already. The fact I know this is an X axis and a Y axis. Put arrows at the end because they do go on forever. And I need to tell you how much I'm counting by. So one, two, three, four, five. If I put a five here, I now know that each of these are worth one. So I've now identified my scale. So my point is negative two, negative one. So that means I go backwards two on the X, one, two, and down one in the Y direction. And I put it up. Okay, let's go do the next one. I'm gonna switch to a different color only because I want you to be able to tell the difference. So every time I see an X, I'm gonna put a negative one now. So Y equals, X is going to be negative one plus one. So negative one plus one would be a zero. So y is zero. So my point is negative one, zero. Let's do the next one. Y is zero plus one. So y is one. So y is one. So this is the point zero, one. I want you to finish the next two on your own. Okay, check your work. You should have gotten that when X was one, Y was two, and when X was two, Y was three. So let's go ahead and graph those points. The point negative one, zero means go back one and then don't move. The point zero, one means don't move and then go up one. One, two means over one and up two. And two, three means go over two, one, two, and up three, one, two, three. And there's our line. So then we take our straight edge. I find it easiest to put my pencil on a point and then kind of lean into it. I'm gonna do this all the way through all of the points, put an arrow on both sides and there's my line. 
We also now want to name our line. So the name of our line is the equation. So it's y equals x plus 1. And there's the name of our line. So now we've finished it. And if you remember, we went over slope. We can actually see the slope, right? It goes the change in y is 1, and the change in x is 1. And you can see that stair step starting to happen that we've been talking about. So that is graphing a line using coordinates and finding our own. So remember, you get to choose your x's, you plug it into the equation, you find your y's, and you graph your points. So let's look at our next one. Here we have our x and our, and our y. This right here is going to be the name of our graph. The name of our graph is right here. y equals 1 half x minus 3. And then this is going to be our ordered pair, x, y. We can pick any x's that we want. I tend to go negative 2 to 2. So negative 2, I am probably not going to do 1. It's going to give me a weird fraction, but maybe. But I'm definitely going to do 0. I'm definitely going to do 2. Maybe I can pick another nice even number that taking a half will work nicely with. So what about 4 and negative 4? Notice they don't go in order. That's okay. They don't have to. That's the beauty of this. I get to do whatever I want here in this column. So now it's going to be y equals 1 half negative 2 minus 3. 1 half of negative 2 is negative 1 minus 3. Negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4. So my ordered pair is negative 2, negative 4. So that's one ordered pair right there. Zero is always nice to use because that makes my coefficient go away. y equals 1 half times 0 minus 3. 0, 1 half of 0 is 0. 0 minus 3 is negative 3. So this is the point 0, negative 3. y equals 1 half of... 4 minus 3. Half of 4 is 2. 2 minus 3 is a negative 1. You guys go finish 2 and negative 4 and then come on back. Okay, so check your work. I got when it was 2, I got 2 negative 2 and when it was negative 4, I got four, negative 4, 5. So we want to graph those points now. So remember, x with your arrows y with your arrows and we could count by twos if we want but we don't need to so i'm going to graph the point negative two four so backwards two one two and down four one two three and four zero negative three don't go anywhere and then down three one two three two negative two go over two one two and down two one two four negative one go over four one two three four and down one Backwards 4 and down 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, and all the way down 5. And there's my graph. Again, I'm not complete until I connect it up. So again, I put my pin down on my dot and then I kind of move it all into place. It needs to go through all the points. And the last thing I need to do is name it. Y equals 1 half X minus 3. Okay, so in this last example, so we are going to save that one for class. Um, I suggest you try it now and see how well you do on it, but that's a great one for class. Today, we went over how to graph a line from a table using a table of values. And this is great for us when we are just learning how to do it, or even if we have forgotten, we can always come back to this. So thank you again for showing up, and I cannot wait to see you in our next lesson. Remember to be kind to one another because we can always use some extra kindness in our lives. Bye now.